The Adventures of Norman Maple, Rogue Trader Extraordinaire, an Imperial Navy officer well known for fighting the pirates of Traxxas 77, only to immediately succumb to piracy himself once he realized that praise does not pay the bills. Our hero attended a gathering to see who would take over command of the rogue trader ship belonging to House Von Valencia. Unfortunately, he was caught in the crossfire of a rising chaos cult and captured by some of their members. After becoming mildly inconvenienced by the mutineers, our hero immediately began to make pacts with demons of the warp. After cutting down the heretical leader and securing the bridge, Norman Maple became head of Von Valencia ship. Later that night, with very little temptation and promise of reward, our hero, Norman Maple, immediately sold himself to the powers of chaos. And now, let us see what wacky and crazy adventures our now recently heretically turned hero will get up to today. Considering the ship is absolutely fucked and need people to repair it, I'm gonna have to come here on my hands and knees and grovel. I've also accidentally committed a great sin as being poor. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't have to report to you. I'm the goddamn ship captain. I'm a fucking lord. You're the one who needs to be groveling at my feet. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you don't respect me. Yeah, how can some pathetic rebellion cause for not having a grand ceremony because I decided to visit your dog shit planet? and a voice my complaints to the governor himself. These rebels disrupted my ceremony. Because of them, this planet won't know how great I am. Oh fuck. Oh, I tried to, tried to buff the man I've been grooming to be a horn berserker, but the witch fucked it up. I've basically, I treat Abel here as a dog, where I just use voice of command and I tell him to kill. All right, Abel. Kill. Oh, this is off to a fucking fantastic start. You know, just rewind time here with the power of foresight. Alright, well you see, my character isn't more of a fighter. I'm more of a tell other people fight type I'll thing. See, I kind of just provide buffs and tell people to carry out my will. As the Emperor commands, I act. Ideally, you're actually supposed to hit a target. Doubt is for the weak. Oh, you're like the worst sister of battle ever. <laughs> Maybe we're not gonna go to that planet. <laughs> Maybe if we go to a prison, there's not gonna be 20 guys who immediately try to kill us. Hmm. She did not use the correct way to address me. Abel, beat her! <laughs> now there's been a prison riot, it's being led by the prison warden himself. Anyway, the original purpose for coming here was to press gang a bunch of prisoners. So now they're rioting. The wow, rioters are a lot easier to kill than, than armed rebels. I'll do it. Damn, that's some pretty good fucking reflexes. Nimble prisoner is right. But it was only under Lady Theodora that I truly felt the significance of what I was doing. Hey, can your dialogue not get in the way of trying to lockpick? <laughs> hey, do you guys want to be forced into a press gang and work the, the gun deck? The hours are long and the pay is horrible. Oh, so you're just professional pirates. Well, I mean, I see about 12 XP. Oh, and the rioters are chaos aligned. Hmm, my people. Maybe I can still press gain them. All right, so you're here to end the riot, right? Indeed, it is a personal matter. Prison Warden is a close friend of yours. Wow. Well, you have some shitty friends. Torturing and skinning people like one staircase above. All right, go ahead. Negotiate. Oh, looks like negotiations went basically as good as I thought they were. Awoken prisoner. Aren't they all awoken because they're not asleep right now? 
Wow, you're really good at killing barely untrained and starving people. Just this accuracy when you were fighting like a trained rebels. Yeah. Damn, the warden kind of went out like a punk bitch. Oh, he can respawn. Now I can't just dunk on the fucking warden. I have to actually think about how I want to plan things out. Ah, oh, damn. You are not an accurate woman. All right, Abel, go donk, go donk on him while we kill his stupid fucking lich phylacteries. Don't pair. Also, actually hit him. Don't let him parry you. Just do what they do in Elden Ring. Just like hold your attack back for like a second. Oh my God! Can you stop shooting me in the back of the fucking head? God damn, woman! This is going tits up. If there's any chaos gods listening, I will sell my soul right now if it means I'll win. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay, step one for the fight. I give you a knife that you could play stabby pokey with people. I give you a gun that you don't accidentally just lightning shock all of us in the back. I'll actually position enemies to get flanking bonuses. Kill the gunners! I would rather you... You have hit, but I don't know, that's pretty par for the course with you. Because the only time you ever seem to be accurate is when I preach heresy. Okay, we want to kill the gunners, because they do annoying plink damage. It's as good as done. Oh, how does it feel being shot in the back of the head, sister? Not so nice, huh? Just pre-fire on these lenses. We'll do. Now we're going to buff the shit out of Abel. We'll tell Argenta, go again. Combat is like a game of chess to me. Except in this case, the pawn can miss his fucking attack sometimes. Right, now use your special ability and finish him. Yes, yeah, sister. Revel in your bloodshed. Which is definitely not a heretical thing. Aw, oh, thanks to save scumming, I'm so good at this fucking game. See, with my tactical genius of telling the sister of battle to just simply go twice in combat, this battle is going quite well. As the Emperor commands, I act. Hell yeah! Alright, let's kick this guy's ass. Now we donk on him. Your phylactery is no more. And now, once Sinister Argenta blows you away. What a lucky man to be blown by a sister. Yeah! Blood for the blood god, baby! Now you're gonna use your special ability. I'm not interested. And just start swinging. And just start swinging. And just start swinging. Another enemy down. Yeah! Anyway, you want to come back up to my ship for some victory drinks, man? You're trying to tell me that they're that in a universe where gods are undeniably real and will actively award me for their service, I'm supposed to just not, not follow them. Be real. Yeah, replace the painting of the former person with a painting of me. Aha! <laughs> well, the prison riot was put down. We weren't able to press gain people, so that kind of fucking blows. Furthermore, I didn't- I wasn't even able to get do any heresy down there. Yeah, you, you had a personal request? I indeed have a request, rogue trader. I'll do it if you complete my request of going to the firing range. Uh, the servants of chaos who assaulted the ship took the lives of your loyal crew. They orphaned many children. Perhaps the road trader could meet with the orphans. What? Yeah, make arrangements for a meeting worthy of the worthy of a road trader. I will address the orphans with a speech. <laughs> the sons and daughters of those who died in the mutiny. Give them treats and escort them to their homes. A minute of seeing me is enough honor for them. Look, your look, your parents died defending me. Now eat my candy, drink my booze. 
I want all of you to remember this chocolate that I gave you this day. And once you are all able-bodied, I want you to lay down the... Lay your life down for me, just as your parents did. <laughs>